everyone, good day and welcome to our daily mana. Did you know the privilege of your identity? Do you live in the identity that Jesus has given you? Or do you allow the enemy to destroy your identity? If we know about identity theft, it seems someone has taken our information for someone else and use your identity without the withholding permission from you. These are people who use your identity and can grant access to your personal information. Like this one, ATM, credit card, your contact information. And this is done to pretend that the person who stole your identity is you. The same is also happening in a Christian life where Satan will put lies in our minds and pick our identity as something else and put all of those ungodly things in our minds, making us vulnerable and far away from God. And as a result, we tend to abandon our true identity, disobeying God and our privileges and pulling ourselves into the world. In 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 9-10 to 10 says, But you, a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for God's own possession, so that you may proclaim the excellencies of Him who has called you out of darkness into His marvelous light. For you once were not a people, but now you are the people of God. You had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. The Apostle Peter mentions that there are times in a Christian's life when facing hardship and troubles there is that temptation to lose our true identity. That is why the Apostle Peter is making clear to us the privilege that we have as chosen people of God. According to verse 8, Peter compared those people belong to God and those who are not. Those people who belong to God obeys God, while those who do not, do not obey God. Those who obey God will experience His peace and care. And these were the people who are chosen by God, as it is mentioned in Colossians chapter 3, verse 12. Put on then as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassion, kindness, loneliness, meekness, and patience, forbearing one another, and if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other. As the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. That is why we should give thanks to God for choosing us to experience His salvation, the sanctification of the Holy Spirit, and that faith to believe. God chose us to be a nation who believes in Him. All nations, all tribes, people, and languages. That is why our mission here in this world is to be that catalyst that brings the message of God to those people who have not yet received Jesus Christ for them to experience His mercy through the death and suffering of Jesus Christ on the cross for us. His love is for all of us. You are chosen people of God in this broken world. You are the people that belong to Him and experience His grace. You belong to the spiritual kingdom of God. We are to say no to the patterns of the world and not to follow its example. That is why as chosen people of God, we are to be cautious with our actions and continue to put our faith in God alone. This is Pastor Arnold Estrella Santiago reminding you to continually bring the identity that God has given you. God bless you.